That's a fish. What's up everybody? Oh, there's a spider right by the lens. I'm out here at Nelson. It's Saturday, about 80 degrees, a little bit breezy out here, which is kind of nice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm gonna get to it. Gotta switch cross, but we'll get back at it. I'll hook into a hog here soon. Stay tuned. Kick my water bottle over. There's one, boys. There's one. First on the day. Kind of a dink, but whatevs. Not bad. Man. You go. First of the day was about a, not even a pounder, but just the start. Hey partner, you mind if I get over here about 20 feet to the right of you? No, you're fine. Okay, thank Go you. Go for it. Were you guys way back in the back a little while ago? No, I just got here probably oh. 15 minutes ago. And I pulled three, three and a half to four pounders out and I lost one Munster that had to be at least five and a half, six pounds. You talking back there by the, the yeah, cat tails? Munster, yeah. We hit them back there last weekend too and these little scatter traps, man, they were just killing these things right now. But it went pretty dead right now. Oh, just missed one. Yeah, I'm just using a... No, nope, he's still on there. Yeah, he's still on there. What are you using? Uh, craw. I'm just using a craw with a, just a regular jig. Okay. That feels like a nice one too. Yeah, I've done all my bass fishing in Texas and rattle traps and scatter traps and spinners are about all I use. They're not quite as effective up here though, I've noticed. Nice one. Yeah, not bad. Maybe two and a half, two maybe. Yeah. Are you just hitting nice the bottom? Nice two pounder. It? Yeah, I'm just letting it, throw it out there and then letting it drift. Yeah. You had much luck today? Uh, I caught that one, and then before that, just a little, little one. Not even a pound, but yeah. you got the right idea, Chief. I got to change this lure out. I got to try to find something I can set on the bottom. Yeah, I got some craws if you guys want to use them. I just with went the skirts and, and, and everything. What's that? With the skirt and everything with it, or I got a skirt you guys can use too. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, is that your car? Or? Yeah, I got I got them in my pocket though. Oh yeah, toss one up here, man. If you, whenever you reel that in. Alrighty. I'll gladly pay you for it if you want. What's that? I said I'll gladly pay you for one. No, it's fine. 
Yeah, I'm just using these and then I try to use the quarter ounce, but they only had they only had three eighths ounce. So you guys can you use want a different weight. I've got plenty of weights up here. You want a bigger one? No, these are these are good. The three eighths are the smallest they go. You can you have one of these or I do not. So you're just rigging this crawfish up to that? Yep. Gee, I think I had, I think I only got a couple colors. So it's either black and white, or I guess I'll just give you guys one of each and you can. No, oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah, let me grab a crawfish or two out here. And like I said, I'll, you, do you want some weights? You want to weight that down a little bit more? I've got. No, it's fine. I've got all the way up to two ounce in here. So I actually like use the three eighths ounce is kind of perfect. The quarter, or yeah, the quarter ounce is. It's nice because you can cast further, but then if you're casting around these rocks, it gets snagged a lot easier. So Yeah. So you prefer the 3 eighths? Is that working well for you right now? Yeah. The 3 eighths is good. Okay. Here, I'm going to toss this right behind you here, bud. Or I can hand it to you. No, you it. Thank you. Absolutely. That's a big one. That's a beast. Yeah, it feels all right. I think he threw my crop, but whatever. He threw the craw, but it's a nice dark one. Probably only a pound, but pretty decent. Man, I'll let him go now. Yeah, I just let it kind of drift, and then if I feel any rocks, I just pop it up but usually so usually they'll just they'll just pick it up as so it's you're not even down. reeling then huh very little okay kind of let the current do the work yep there you go land at that one fish on Did he throw it? Yeah, he threw it. Kept the craw, but he ate both the craws off of it. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fish I think I caught out of here was like 3.6. Dude, 3.6 is a fine fish to pull out of any water. Right. Well, I don't know how big that one was I lost last week. 47 pounds. No. <laughs> but I remember he was screaming at me, you lost it! I was like, God dang it, set the hook. Learn to set your hook. 47 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> well, I get out of your way here. Not really. <laughs> Just letting it kind of drift down and let the current do the work. Twitch it once in a while. Ooh, that was real close to that. Okay. I think we're gonna get one here, boys. There's one. That's up juicy one too yeah he feels nice oh oh that feels nice that's a big boy he's coming to the surface i think he's gonna jump he's gonna jump where is he where is he 
There he is. That one might just be a three. That one's a three for sure. For sure, boys. Oh, just barely put that one in there. That's a three. Nice three, boys. Let's go. Look at the mouth on that bad boy. First three of the day. I don't have a scale, but I'd have to say if I was lifting weights, that's a three pounder. It's a nice looking fish. We're going to release him right away, though. There he goes. Mama back to her home. All right, let's go. New jig. Just caught a three pounder for the day. Yee! That's where we want to put it though, right by those rocks. That's a fish. That's a fish. Let's go. On the June bug. That's a big boy. Oh, that's a big fish. Feels like a big fish anyways. He's fighting like a big fish. See because he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Look at that pig. Yes. Juiciness. That's a, I'd say that's a three. It's a nice three. Wind's kind of picking up. Sun went down, but just hooked into that hog. Look at that eyeball on that bad boy. All right, we're going to release her now, but that's a juicy, that's a good three pounder right there, boys. He ended up choking it. Choked the June. Choked the June bug. That was, that was mint. That was mint for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. That hook set was brutal too. Just brutal. So I just left Nelson. I don't know if the volume's any good on this thing. But I uh, just want to say thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Give me any good ideas for what I should do for the next video. As far as fishing, anything, you know. I'm doing a survival challenge here next weekend. But I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Seriously, go hit that subscribe button. Now! I'm going to get off here because I'm driving. Bye!